Hey, good evening, guys. It's Christy with Zen 10 Lotus Tarot, and I just wanted to bring you this Twin Flame reading. Just been getting a lot of cards indicating that some of my collective is dealing with the Twin Flame um, connection, so I wanted to get this video out to you to share some of that information, um, share that information with you, because apparently y'all got a Twin Flame out there coming at ya. Um, yeah. It's so crazy because I feel like when we um, are in alignment with our most authentic soul self is when we start to attract the people who belong in our life for whatever reason. And it's like we attract a lot of soulmates during that time. We attract um, higher level partners in that time um, and twin flame connections. Um, it may be time for you to meet that twin flame or maybe you already have met that person um, whatever the in, you know whatever it is for you in your situation um, my cards are just really um, screaming twin flame here so I wanted to share that with you in case you guys needed some guidance in that area so I got my little Christmas get up going on and I got my little nice and naughty cup and we're gonna do some um, messages from your twin flame that are nice and naughty and we'll figure out um, what they're thinking about you right now. The first card that I did pull um, out of an oracle deck just to see where the um, collective energy was at was a whirling goddess. So um, this is such a great card of um, basically standing in your power, divine feminines and divine masculines. It's like finding um, the courage, right, to take a night off from worry. So, I mean, that's great advice for anyone on any damn day, <laughs> you know, to stop worrying and being in our heads. But this is being specific in, um, in a certain um, portion of your spiritual ascension. You will come to a point where you realize that the only thing holding you back from being your most high self your most um, connected and aligned self with everything that you could ever desire in your life is your head. It's the only thing getting in the way, right? Um, our thoughts can hold on to resistance and fear and all those things that are going to hold us back from allowing um, our abundance, our birthright, our um, greatest love, our greatest um, success, our ability to know our ability to feel into uh, what we know is right in our life, you know, because we can talk ourselves out of things. That's the biggest red flag for self-sabotage that there could ever be. And trust me, I mean, we all do it. It's not, it's not like um, you're, you're doing this wrong. No, this is life. This is what we do. So, but as you spiritually ascend, you're going to notice um, that pretty much that's the only thing left that needs tweaking, right? Is your ability to let go. Let go of control. Let go of knowing. Let go of having every answer. Let go of perfection. Let go of um, needing to know how and why and what and where and when. And um, am I capable? Am I ready? Am I enough? Am I worthy? Am I? What's going to happen tomorrow? Who? <laughs> I I could do this for the next ten years, you know. Go through all the shit that you can talk yourself out of, and you know what you're thinking in the moment that you do end up talking yourself out of something. Um, I know because I've done it. You know, we all have. Um, so this card is such a great card to remind us to to t let our okay. Have our head take the night off, you know? Take the night off um, and be completely okay with the idea of the answer to the question of being what next is, I don't know, you know? I don't know what's next. I don't know. I'm just going to take this day and, you know, try this again tomorrow, by the way and continue to try it every single day I wake up is just living in the moment, being alive, being um, 
100% unsure uh, what's next, what's going to happen, um, what are we going to, you know, like, what, let go of expectation, let go of needing to be um, aware of how silly it may seem to others, how, um, how irrational it may be for anyone else, or how um, ridiculous it seems, right? Um, because sometimes that's when you're your most alive, is when you're doing something that you're completely winging, and you have just really no clue what's next. Um, but you're excited, but you're inspired, but you're um, ticking with nothing but curiosity and um, exhilaration and excitement, you know? True excitement for not knowing what the hell happens next, <laughs> you know? And that is so descriptive of what a twin flame union is all about. It's like, you know, there's usually one twin who is super 3D, you know, can't get the idea of um, there being something more to a connection than actually just what's in the 3D world of a connection. And then you have your other twin um, who is completely in the spiritual aspect of it and recognizes it right away, right? But regardless, regardless if you're a 3D twin or you're the 5D twin, and you're completely aware of this or you're not, the fact is, is that that connection remains. It's, um, you recognized your soul the moment you saw your soul, you know, and, um, you can't, you can't run from it. It just, I mean, I mean, you absolutely can if you continue to, um, live in a space of having to have that control. And that's why I said this card is so important. For twin flame um, connections because this is why <laughs> sometimes it takes lifetimes to ever come into union with your twin flame because we're constantly mirroring each other right and so if one person um, one twin is in their head about a situation um, and not able to reconcile and let go of that control then guess what happens the other twin starts to mirror that energy and then they're in their head. And so before you know it, you know, you both are self-sabotaging because you're mirroring one another. Um, if you've ever noticed, like, um, you know, you may both be completely vulnerable in the same moment or you might be both completely shut down in the moment or you might be both completely um, in your worst low vibrational energy ever in the same moment and it's because you mirror one another so that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to come into union with your twin flame you know you have to be somebody who's willing um to break that pattern you know break the pattern of the negative mirroring and and start to um elect that even if that means letting go of your twin flame, you know, that you're going to live in a place where you're going to ascend no matter what, you know, and, and funny enough, um, that may inspire your twin to ascend as well. But, but I mean, it may not, but you have to be okay regardless. And so this card is about letting go. Letting go of needing to know, letting go of um, having all the answers, letting go of what others think, letting go of um, your thoughts about having to control every piece of this connection and just let it be what it is. Just dance with it, you know? And even if that dance means that you're dancing alone, you know, you will attract another high-level partner regardless. And so you're winning, you know? Twin flames are not always meant to come together, you know? They can spend lifetimes, lifetimes resisting this strong, amazing connection um, 
but they can also um, come into your union, you know, and, and part of that is losing your head, you know, getting out of your head. Um, and hopefully in, in your whirling goddess essence <laughs> or whirling God essence, you can, um, you know, attract your twin flame in that way also, you know, to let go of control, to let go of the thoughts in their head that hold them back, to let go of the idea that everything has to be perfect, to let go of them needing to know all the answers too, you know, but regardless, you know, spirit is asking you that no matter what the outcomes, because when we lose our head, we don't give a fuck about outcomes. We're not thinking about tomorrow. We're not thinking about what Susie down the street thinks. We're not thinking about anything. All we're doing is living in a space of authenticity within ourselves to be who we are and hoping in that process that we're attracting our best possible partner who can match that kind of energy, you know? And at the end of the day, if it's our twin flame, fuck yes, you know? And if it's not, then, I mean, you're still going to attract a soulmate with that kind of energy. So it's a win-win, you know? If you're ready to let go of your head and just dance, dance with not knowing, dance without worry, without reason, without um, preparing every detail for the future, you know, just dance in the moment, enjoy the moment, live in the moment, and you're going to attract that same kind of energy into your life. So um, I thought that was a very interesting card, especially for a twin flame journey. Um, so I'm going to throw down some tarot cards and we're going to see what the heck's coming up and what's going on and where you're at in your twin flame union at this moment and what they'd like to say to you, you know, what they'd like to, um, that's what my little naughty and and nice or naughty and nice <laughs> messages <laughs> are about. We got some nice messages, sweet, and then we got naughty. I like naughty. I mean, it's funner, you know, and we're losing our head tonight, so we're not caring about we ain't caring about nothing, right? So um we will get messages on both sides, naughty and nice, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they um wish you knew. Um that we're not always, when we're in our head, capable of just saying to somebody. So uh, so we'll get started so we can get to these messages. This is hot shit. This is hot dish here. This is the tea. This is the 411, whatever you want to call it, whatever decade you're from. But yeah, so, um, so we'll get started. Let me throw down some sexy cards, right? We got our sexual magic tarot, and I'm just going to, you know, read uprights because I'm still learning this deck and this is I mean it's different it's different so um I'm going to utilize it like regular tarot and this is all signs so this is not sign specific this is just if you feel that strong magnetic connection with someone where you could possibly be on a twin flame journey so we're going to see more. Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So yes, this is amazing. Okay. So what I'm seeing is that you have somebody who is in your energy that has this couple love, you know, they want to come rushing in like, you know, Romeo and just give it to you. They want to take the leap of faith, but then boom, you know, something stops them 
it's this um, heartbreak, this idea of like, you know, you may be in separation from your twin flame, like maybe in the past you had a connection with this person, and at some point there was some sort of heartbreak within the dynamic. And I mean, isn't that typical <laughs> of a twin flame union that, you know, somebody has created some sort of heartbreak? And it usually comes from, you know, and I'm not trying to knock the 3D twins out there. Please don't take it the wrong way. Anybody out there who may be in that 3D um, cross-watching, you know, um, yeah, don't don't get me wrong, you know. But the 3D twin is, is more... Uh, is probably more in their head than the 5D twin because we, you know, 5D twins recognize, recognize what it is from the get-go. Know it from the moment we meet eyes with that person, correct? You know, you know that that's a strong connection that um, you never felt before. And so um, you're aware of it, um, you have knowledge in it, and you research the shit out of it, right? <laughs> to figure out what the fuck is this? Like, it ain't, this ain't, this ain't normal. This ain't something I felt before. So, um, so yeah, 5D twins tend to be a little bit more aware of the connection. So they become, uh, what they call the chaser in that dynamic. And then, um, your 3D twins will sometimes resist the connection, right? Because typically a twin flame connection is not a, is not a, normal connection. It's not like, you know, you meet somebody uh, that uh, is your type or your um, typical person that you would uh, be attracted to or date or anything like that. But, um, but there's something about it that um, gets the 3D twin thinking because they know like, okay, this probably isn't my normal person that I would be after, but I somehow feel super magnetically connected to this person. And why is that? And so then they question that, right? And when things get too intense, they run, you know? Run from the connection right in the other direction as fast as they can because, um, because they're not ready or they're not um, willing or they're not able to understand it or don't want to understand it. And so, um, regardless of anything, twin flame connections are help, meant to help us grow and evolve and become better people, better versions of ourselves because they test us and they, um, force us, right, <clears throat> to learn and grow and somehow evolve. And that's because they're divinely guided meaning that spirit has put them in our life for a specific purpose. And that purpose is a contract that was made lifetimes ago, correct? For something to, there's some sole purpose in your connection, you know? And, and so at some point you experienced a heartbreak in your connection, you know, whether it's you or your 3D twin, and it most likely is both, you know? one way or the other. It may have hurt them to run from the connection as much as it hurt you that they did, you know? And, and so that mirroring effect is like, you know, what you can guarantee that whatever you feel, they do too, you know? So if you felt heartbroken in a situation, they did too. Um, whether they may have, you know, ever told you that or whether you ever realized that, um, they probably felt the same way you did about that. Um, so we have here a king of wands, you know, and this may be a fire energy. It could be uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with, or you may be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you may just have those in your chart prominently. Um, check your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign. Um, that's usually what shows up in tarot the most and, and is most um, affecting our love relationships. So um, so I have a fire sign here who is the king of wands, but he's in the reverse, you know, and the king of wands in the upright is somebody who is taking action, right? He's all fire and he's like, if I want it, I'm going to get it. You know what I mean? And this person is in the in the reverse. They're not they're not taking action, okay? But 
they want to bring balance into the situation because right now they feel super unbalanced. They feel um, like they want to they want to take action, but they're just not capable at this time for whatever reason. And again, it could be um, that energy of just still not um, able to come to terms with their feelings about the situation, not knowing, um, you know, what's right, what's wrong. They may be wondering if you're feeling the same way as they are, you know? And so a lot of questions that can self-sabotage, you know, things that keep us in our head, which is why with that whirling goddess oracle is beautiful. Take, let your head take the night off. All the yins. I don't care if you're the 3D or the 5D. Take the night off with the head and then try it again tomorrow and the next day because, you know, and, and it's super hard for us to do that because there's a million things we need to think about, right? That is rational to think about, that's logical to think about. Um, but Spirit is encouraging you that you have a connection in your life that is requiring you to let go of your thought process on this one because, um, I mean, here's the thing, there's free will, and you never, ever have to do anything, um, but it's just something that Spirit is encouraging you to do if you have that kind of connection in your life, because it's divine. It's a soul contract, and it will meet you in your next lifetime regardless. <laughs> so if it ain't this lifetime, I'll see you next lifetime. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's that's how you have to start thinking of this. You know, and letting go of that resistance is exactly what allows things to flow to you naturally, to flow the way they're supposed to flow, um, to allow them. If, you, if you're not resisting something, it has the ability to flow. If you're resisting and it's like putting up a dam, it's like a beaver, you know, building a dam to make sure to keep it out. Well, if you're putting down that dam and just kind of like, well, you know, we're going to see what happens, then the water starts to naturally flow again. And so the thing is, is that you can't resist if you're expecting, and, and you can't expect either, but if you're resisting the idea of it, then it can never flow to you. Um, and you'll be waiting forever. <laughs> Till next lifetime. So um, try your best to let go of resistance if you're wanting to come into union with your twin flame. Um, so yes, this person is not taking action towards you and you are not taking action towards them. But there's a sense of wanting to bring balance into the situation, wanting to share um, the connection with one another. Um, you know, You want to work on it. You want to put in the effort, the time, and the energy. And, you know, one of you may be super ready and the other one just isn't there yet. You know, they're thinking at this point. They're in that headspace about it. Um, because they're ruminating over, like, past situations. Maybe whatever this heartbreak is for you guys that um, just didn't, you know, they're ruminating over, like, could you ever forgive them? Could you ever... Um, compromise? Could you ever see them in the same way? And and sometimes, um, like I said, the 3D twin is usually the one who um, will run from the situation and then in turn cause heartbreak in the situation. Sometimes with, um, you know, whatever it is, just running from the situation in general can be heartbreaking or just, um, you know, lies, cheating, deception, whatever it is. You know what I mean? So the thing is, and even wearing a false mask, you know, the Seven of Swords can also talk about saying like maybe they um, denied that there was ever a connection to begin with. And that's the Seven of Swords in your situation. I don't know. I'm just giving you examples. But, um, but they are thinking about those things that they know caused heartbreak for the other twin. And but they're manifesting, they're manifesting, they have all this momentum where they want to speak their truth. Um, 
and come towards you or you of course want to come towards them um so i'm gonna just clarify a couple of these cards to see exactly um where they're at and what we can expect for you in the next you know month or so um so let's see what is the three of swords They want to tell you that um, that they feel like, or whoever ran from this connection wants to tell you that they feel like they've missed an opportunity. Um, missed an opportunity, they're starting to see things clearly, you know, and, and they're, they're feeling like they missed out on, like, a gift from the universe, you know, and that's sometimes how how that other person is um, supposed to grow from the connection, you know, is that they learn important lessons about, um, you know, about growth and, and understanding and knowing that not everything has, has um, reason, you know, or not everything has, um, Not everything has to be perfection, or maybe your person is um, super, you know, like worried about what other people would think about your connection, you know, or maybe um, they have people surrounding them that don't approve of the situation. And like I said, you know, twin flames are never, never something typical. It's not a typical situation. It's either very different religious backgrounds, very different upbringings, um, you know, you name it. It's just, it's, it's, it makes, it's like every obstacle that could be in the way <laughs> of it being um, successful is there so that you spiritually grow from it, um, from your learning experiences, you know, because ultimately, um, you feel this connection that's strong enough that you want to be successful, but you have to overcome the obstacles in order for it to come together. And sometimes that takes lifetimes, you know, to happen. But there is a divine connection here. Um, and somebody right now is feeling like they missed an opportunity, you know. Um, so let's see what the King of Wands in reverse is. Yeah, divine timing, you know, um, they're not taking action, but divine timing is at play with the temperance card. So the angels are keeping an eye on this connection and, you know, they're trying to tweak things in the best way that they possibly can. But, um, you know, free will is always at play, always at play, you know, so they're, you know, the angels are doing their best to give synchronicities and to um, give little signs and, and things like that. But um, at the end of the day, it's up to the divine masculine and the divine feminine to do the inner work necessary to get them in a place where they're ready to come together um, and live harmoniously, if that makes sense. Um, so let's see. What is the seven of swords? Yeah, there. The Seven of Swords is what um what they call like a false, like a, a false self mask. So like wearing a mask of um coldness or like um resistance more than anything. You know, resisting the idea that they know that they have all these like nostalgic thoughts and they feel kind of like um like. Um, sad about the separation or feeling left out in the cold in the situation or whatever it is like um, 
you know, it's, it's basically just that they have not spoken the truth about how they truly feel about you in the situation, or you haven't spoke your truth about how you feel about them, or maybe both, <laughs> you know, because you mirror each other. And so maybe there needs to be a conversation or, you know, something needs to happen um, in order to break that barrier of resistance between you. Um, let's see, the magician. Magician. Yeah. Manifesting transformation. Like, and guess what's at the bottom of the deck? <laughs> Two of Cups. So yes, you know it. You both know it. You both feel it. You both want it. You're both manifesting it. You're both manifesting a transformation, you know? Um, and it's a huge burden on both of you because you're probably um, thinking and, and ruminating on it and things like that. Um, clarify. Eight of Wands. Yeah. They don't want to walk away. You don't want to walk away. Um, you both know that it's a gift from the universe. You know that um, there's nothing but abundance and growth and love and like that power couple aspect that just is you. You know, you look at that person and they make you want to be a better person and you look at them and they make you want to be a better person. And it's like, you know, you, you help each other grow into your best possible selves, if that makes sense. Why do I keep saying that? Shit. Damn it. Here I go again. Everything makes sense, yo. We don't have to keep saying it. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I promise. I'm, I'm really going to do better. I promise. Okay. So, um, so yeah, neither of you want to walk away. You both know what this connection is or feeling it at least. Um, you want a reconciliation with the three of cups. You want to come together and celebrate and collaborate because you know that you could be completely boss together. Um, you're both holding on. You want to come out of heartbreak. <laughs> What's hidden is that, you know, you both have had that, the epiphany moment to know that, like, you can run, you can hide, you can forget it, you can, or I should say, you can try to forget it, you can, um, date other people you can um you can do whatever but the fact still remains that like um you know what the connection was and you can't for and you can't um let it go that's the best way to put it can't let it go um clarify the three of swords in reverse yeah you're ready for triumph in the situation with the ace of swords you're ready um, to speak your truth. You're ready to work on things with the Eight of Pentacles. Plan, excuse me, plan, strategize, um, get her moving. But again, spirit is is definitely letting you know that you don't have to do all that. You know, if you just could dance, if you could just dance and enjoy and live in the moment and revel and feel alive that's all that's required you know that's all that's required we need to let our heads go for the day of the strategizing and the planning and the perfection of it, it doesn't have to be perfect there ha doesn't have to be any promises of tomorrow or the next day or next year or five years from now it's just about having the ability to let go and let it be whatever whatever it's going to be you know what i mean um yeah but you you know it's going to lead to your ten of pentacles together you know like everything the abundance you know the happy home the stability um the the power couple the um everything the everything the ten of pentacles i mean it's beautiful oh chariot there's that momentum this is thought process let's get action get that king of wands in the upright, yo. Get the party started, right? Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple of little wish crafts because there's nothing wrong with wishing, and I like that. 
um, it says, I can create magic anytime I wish. I love that. One more. I am generous and loving. Oh. I am a good leader. Yes, and you know, that's a great point. We're all great leaders. We all have the capability of um, shifting. Shifting our energy in a way, because we're mirroring, or because in a twin flame situation, the twins are mirroring one another. The best possible thing you can do if you are the 5D twin is that you lead in a way that makes your person want to mirror your high vibing energy. Um, because if they can get out of that 3D space, out of their head, out of their um, need to control and things like that, then, then they're much more likely to be attracted to somebody that matches that vibe, you know? So, um, so yeah, be a good leader. You got this. You can lead. Um, let's get some song lyrics. Oh, I love songs. From my Chills and Fills deck. Song lyrics that give me chills. Darling, I never showed you, assumed you'd always be there. I took your presence for granted, but I always cared. One sweet day, Mariah Carey and Boys to Men. Love it. You kiss my lips and then you take my breath away. Joe, I want to know. Aww. The lights go out and I can't be saved. Tides that I try to swim against. Clocks by... Um, Uh, Coldplay. I wish nothing but the best for you. Don't forget me, I beg. Oh. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year, running over the same old ground, but have we found the same old fears? Confusion never stops, closing walls and ticking clocks. I'm going to come back and take you home. That's clocks by... That must be a relevant song. I'm gonna have to look that one up. I haven't heard, I haven't listened to the lyrics of that in a long time. And let me get one more. Nope. Um, your face it haunts my once pleasant dreams. So yeah, those are your song lyrics for between you and your twin flame. Um, I'm gonna pick three of the nice and naughty messages. What do you want first? Let's go nice first. Nice. Okay. We are connected at the soul level. Do you feel that? I see me in your eyes. I forgot me until I met you. You did that. Oh, that is so nice. It's true. Our hugs are my favorite. I feel so safe. How do the naughty? How do you naughty? It would be naughty without. It wouldn't be fun if it wasn't not a thing. <laughs> I get a little blushed when I do the naughties. Okay. I've got so much sexual energy banked up for you. You ready to cash out? <laughs> I need a little bit of you and me. Just a tip. I dare you. And... I don't care when, I don't care who sees, I don't give a fuck where. If I need it, I'm taking it. Did 
divine masculine, divine feminines. That's hot. So those are your messages for your twin flame. Um, I hope that they helped you or um, at least let you know exactly where you're at on your path in your twin flame journey. Um, some messages that they're feeling and thinking about you. So, um, so yeah. And I hope you have a great day. We're going to do more videos like this. So like, subscribe, and share if you can. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Bye.